Our Grampians road trip continues, and for the next few days we travelled the district looking for more amazing compositions to highlight the magnificent night sky and landscape from this part of the world. The amazing weather continued for the duration of the trip, so much so that I decided to get out of bed at about 2am to drive to the top of the mountain to shoot the setting Milky Way galactic core over the Reeds Lookout Fire Tower. Jeff and I had been up there during the day to enjoy the views, and as always, I was drawn into the beauty of this spot. But even though it's beautiful, getting a decent nightscape composition up there requires some dedication and time. After spending quite a bit of time setting up my tracker and shooting the night sky, I made my way up to the tower itself with the intention of taking my foreground images. Unfortunately, I discovered a couple of campers had set up a tent and were fast asleep, huddled up against the base of the fire tower. I didn't want to disturb them at this time of night, so I had to give up on the composition I had in mind. However, I had already shot this scene a few years earlier, so I decided to blend that earlier foreground into the tracked sky I just shot. I was pretty happy with the resulting image. The next evening saw us arriving at Mitre Rock, which is located about an hour and a half west of the Grampians itself. I had shot here before, but as the weather was so calm and clear, we just couldn't resist the opportunity to return here to shoot this amazing and rugged landscape.
Halls Gap is in the heart of the Grampians National Park, and it was our home base for the duration of the trip. This town is full of wildlife and is a beautiful place to relax and admire the surrounding mountainous landscape. Our last night was spent at our friend Luke's farm property. There was an abundance of dead trees and undulating hills on the farm with clear views in every direction. A perfect spot for some astro landscape photography.
After a really successful night at Luke's farm, we headed home to our lodgings for the night, but I wasn't quite finished. Many years earlier, I'd scouted out a rustic old harvester resting peacefully under a tree, almost completely covered in ferns and undergrowth. This was one of those subjects that I considered to shoot previously, but given up on the idea due to the abundance of trees surrounding the machine. But I've changed my mindset on such things in recent years, so I decided to get out there late that night to shoot the setting core over the scene. I was certainly not disappointed with the final result. This had probably been the most successful photography trip to the Grampians for quite a few years, and it's one I'll hold dear to my heart forever. I never tire of getting back to this stunning mountain district, and this time it was made all the more enjoyable to spend some quality Milky Way time with like-minded friends. <laughs>